Have you ever been on an aircraft that appeared to be about to land, but then at the last minute, it gathered more height and made another round rather than landing? It's possible that your pilot was performing a maneuver known as a go-around, which is a standard operation used frequently while approaching some of the most hazardous airport runways in the world. Landing in challenging situations, such as those with a short runway, hazardous terrain, or poor weather, calls for both experienced and confident pilots. So welcome back and with this video, we are showing you a list of the most dangerous airports and landing strips that you should avoid. Are you excited? Then make sure to watch the video till the end to know the 13 most dangerous plane landings ever in the world. And to never miss out on more such videos, subscribe to our channel now. Here we begin with our video. Number 13. Princess Juliana Airport, St. Martin. Planes usually land close to people on the beach at Princess Juliana Airport on St. Martin. The Princess Juliana Airport has a short runway separated from the water by a narrow beach and a fence. All planes that land must do so at a low altitude over Maho Beach, which has become a popular place for tourists to take photos of planes flying low over their heads. So, if you're tired of the beach and want a more exciting adventure, this is the place to go. Number 12. Tenzing Hillary Airport. Meeple Tenzing Hillary Airport is on top of a mountain. Since this airport is the gateway to Mount Everest, it shouldn't be a surprise that it is just as dangerous as the world's highest mountain. The very short runway is on a slope and there is a steep cliff at the end. Only small planes and helicopters are allowed to land here and when they get close, they look more like toys than real planes because the Himalayas are so big. Since the airport always errs on the side of caution, it often closes without warning when the wind and clouds change. But passengers can take comfort in the fact that pilots are trained very well to land and take off on short runways. Number 11. Barra Airport, Scotland. The planes land on the beach at the Barra Airport in Scotland. At Scotland's Barra Airport, the runways are on the beach and are marked by wooden poles. This means that pilots can only land when the tide is out. The airport's schedule is totally affected by how much water is in Trey Moor Bay. When high tide comes, all three runways are completely covered by water. The airport is on a remote island in the Scottish Highlands. Only one flight from Glasgow comes and goes twice a day. Number 10. Courcheval Altiport in France. Courcheval Altiport is on top of a mountain covered in snow. If the airport's location in an icy alpine area wasn't scary enough, the short runway on a steep slope would do it. Landing at Courcheval Altiport is considered extra dangerous because there is no way to go around the mountains surrounding it. That means that if the pilot is going to land, they have to be ready to do it on the first try. That also means that if clouds or fog make it hard to see, it's almost impossible to land. Even if you can see well, things can still go wrong. In 2019, a plane missed the spot where it was supposed to land and crashed into a snowbank, hurting three people on board. Number 9. Congan has Airport, Brazil Heavy Rain at Congan has Airport in Brazil. At other airports, planes have to steer around mountains and sea cliffs. On the other hand, Planes landing at Congonhas Airport have to land carefully over Sao Paulo's tall buildings. The airport has a short runway and often has slippery conditions. Since it opened in 1936, there have been many deadly accidents there. After the worst crash in 2007, which killed everyone on board and 12 people on the ground, the airport cut down on the number of flights and put limits on the size and weight of planes that could land there. Number 8. Juancho E. Wirasquin Airport, Saba. Next is a terrible and shocking landing. The runway at the Saba Airport is the shortest commercial runway in the world. It is only 1,300 feet long. The runway is on a flat piece of land that sticks out into the Caribbean Sea. There are rocky cliffs on all sides, so pilots must stop their planes quickly after landing. Regional planes and only pilots who have been trained are allowed to land here. Number 7. Tiaman Airport, Malaysia. A charter plane is on the runway at Tiaman Airport. Even though only charter flights can use Malaysia's Tiaman Airport, the approach to the short runway is very scary. Pilots have to fly over a number of mountain ridges and then make a sharp turn to land on the beachside runway. 
To make things even harder, the runway only goes in one direction. This means that planes coming in and going out can only go in one direction. Number 6. Honkanten Airport, Honduras. A bird's eye view of the airport with a plane about to land. The mountainous area around the Tonkantin Airport is very dangerous for planes, especially on the approach to Runway 2, which requires a sharp turn and a steep landing. Before 2007, the airport was even more dangerous when a big part of a nearby hill was leveled and the runway was made longer. Still, compared to other international airports, the runway is considered to be very short. Because of the high altitude, takeoffs are also hard to do because the plane has to use a lot of power and climb quickly to 9,000 feet to get over the mountains. Number 5. Paro Airport. Bhutan Paro Airport is in Bhutan. It is in the middle of the Himalayas. As Bhutan's only international airport, Paro Airport is the only place where people can land. The approach to the airport is so hard because it is surrounded by the tall Himalayas that only eight pilots in the world are qualified to do it. This landing is hard because of more than just the high peaks. The high winds in the valley also make it hard for the pilots to fly the plane through the mountain pass and over the tops of the houses near the runway. Number 4. Madeira Airport, which is in Portugal, is on the island's very eastern coast. Even though the short runway at Madeira Airport has been lengthened, the new part of the airport is built on a platform over the ocean that is held up by 180 columns. Being by the water also means that there are often strong winds and rough landings. Pilots must pass advanced training on a flight simulator before landing at this airport. Number 3. Telluride Regional Airport in Colorado with a plane ready to leave. Telluride Regional Airport is the most dangerous airport in the United States. It is the highest commercial airport in the country, with only 1,000 feet of runway and steep cliffs on each end. It's a beautiful way to get to the plateau, but pilots need to be very skilled to stop the plane before it gets to the end of the runway, where a cliff is waiting. Even though Telluride is a popular place to go skiing, the airport only gets flights from Denver. Number 2. Gibraltar International Airport, which is in the British territory of Gibraltar, has a highway running through it. The runway at the Gibraltar Airport meets Winston Churchill Avenue, the area's main road. This seems like a bad way to plan a city. The runway is quite long, which is a good thing. But every time an aeroplane lands or takes off, traffic has to stop. In the winter, high winds from the mountains make things even worse. Since the airport opened in 1939, there have been a few accidents, but thank goodness no car has ever been hit by an oncoming plane. Number 1. A train goes through Gisborne Airport in New Zealand, where an aeroplane runway is. The Gisborne Airport on New Zealand's North Island is the only airport in the world where a working train line crosses the main runway. As a result, trains and planes cross paths all day, and the air traffic controller carefully makes sure that the train can leave after the plane has landed. As you might expect, the tracks were already there when the runway was built in 1966, and since then, there have been no accidents between the two ways of getting around. Hope you have enjoyed the video. What do you think of these dangerous plane landings in the world? Did they terrify you? Let us know your views in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. See you soon.